I just love the novel gum punch. And here's a situation where I saw the movie first. I saw Jackie Brown by Tarantino, and I found out later that there was a novel that was used as the basis for the movie. The novel and the film have a lot in common. The book was written by Elmore Leonard, who is regarded as one of the greats when it comes to writing these mystery stories, crime stories. They've made a lot of movies out of his novels. I've also seen Elmore Leonard speak in person. It was in Fort Worth, Texas years ago. I had actually gone to see him as a creative writing teacher with a librarian buddy of mine, and there were several students, and I just preached the writing process to my students, talked about drafting and revising, and Elmore Leonard really is annoyed me because he talked about how when he writes a book he writes it perfectly that he just spits out a perfect draft but he doesn't need to have it edited or revised or anything that was shocking to me but good for him if you're a fan of rum punch you might want to also read the switch i gave rum punch four stars the switch three stars both books feature a set of criminals in the film jackie brown it's ordell which is played by samuel l jackson and lewis which is played by robert de niro it's neat to have those characters in two different books the switch takes place before rum punch or Jackie Brown. It's fascinating to me how that this all happened because Quentin Tarantino made some serious changes to Rum Punch, though clearly Elmore Leonard didn't mind that. I'm sure they offered him a lot of money to turn it into a movie, so I mean, why would he complain? But Quentin Tarantino changed the protagonist of the novel. In the book Rum Punch, the main character is Jackie Burke. She's an older white woman, and Quentin Tarantino said, no, no, it's going to be Jackie Brown. And I mean, when you're going to cast Samuel L. Jackson as Ordell to be against this protagonist, I think Pam Greer as Jackie Brown was a great choice. I think that it really worked for the story. If you see the film, it's got a lot of other great actors in it in supporting roles. And the events of the kind of heist, the crime that happens are similar from the novel to the film. If you've seen Jackie Brown and you really enjoyed the movie, then I recommend that you check out the book. Though probably in traditional style, you would want to read the book first and then see the film and then appreciate how they took the novel and converted it into a cinematic masterpiece. And I really do feel, as a fan of Quentin Tarantino's films, that Jackie Brown is his best. Out of all the movies that he's made, the conflict that's there, the characters, and how they interact with one another is really fascinating. Because Jackie Brown slash Jackie Burke is just a character trying to survive who's gotten caught in a bad situation between these gun smugglers and the law enforcement officers. She's an older woman who's a flight attendant. She's looking at retirement years. She doesn't have any money. She can make good money helping these gun smugglers. At the same time, she doesn't want to rat them out to the law enforcement officers, but she doesn't want to go to jail. It's a great moral dilemma. But of course, this character isn't just going to survive. She's going to find a way to get the money because there's a lot of money at stake here. And that's the joy of the story, seeing whether or not she can be successful and seeing how she is going to pull this off when she's got a killer like Ordell who really will put her in the grave if she makes a misstep. And she's got these eager law enforcement officers who are ready to destroy her life and put her behind bars. So I highly recommend it. And if you check it out, I hope you'll enjoy it. Every day is a good day for a book talk. Peace.